Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can link our physical IOS of the TM3 to our resource and application. So let's go to the presentation. So this linking IO process is made by the symbol link inside the application. So if we uh, open this... Oops, there we go. So, as soon as we create a cat, or in this particular case, when we use the instance block of the cat or the conveyor or the bulbs, okay, it will create a symbol link, like a um, symbol variable, okay, as we use in, for example, machine expert, but here it's called symbol link, okay, this create that variable, okay, and depend on the variable that we have it can be input and output as you can see over here so if we let me just show you on the application uh, this one no the other one the other side so if we go to the right part we should be able to see this symbol link and if we pay attention on the icons of the symbol link we should be able to see like coming in and the other one coming out so we should be able to have an idea Okay, this is going to be input and the other one is going to be output. So that is basically this idea. Input is coming in over here and output is going out. Okay, so depend on the instance that we have, okay, it will create different symbol links. So if we go back to here, just sticking the other screen, there we go. So imagine now that I have the same application, but I'm going to add another conveyor. So conveyor, add conveyor to well, conveyor. You can see here on the right side that it creates another variables to be used on the physical IO. Okay, so I'm going to delete this part now, just for you to get an idea of what's going on, and say. As you can see here, it says the symbol link name, which is fine, which is the application number one, what is called, and then we have the cat instance. Then they have the inputs and outputs for each of these conveyor that you have inside the interface. Now, if you pay attention here, it says connected to nothing. So it means that the link to the physical IO is missing. Now, if we continue with the presentation, okay, what we need to do is to open our hardware configuration, the same that we have used in order to configure the different steam trees, okay, and then we just drag and drop where we think is going to be the IO, okay, simple as that. So, what we need to do is this to match based on the information that we have for our um, certain line that we've seen before the pinouts and everything we need to match it over here okay so just show you a few cases just bear with me a second here so we can go to hardware configuration okay here we should be able to see analog input and the analog input was the color sensor so drag and drop it and you can see on the right part here in the symbol link if you are not able to see this you have on view here symbol links or control alt s you can see that it's linked this symbol link to a physical io and then we have for example outputs i believe a uh, conveyor run it's this one let's see conveyor run yes and then compressor run is this one white red and blue so white red and blue so it's going to be the output white so white and red just need to find this 
an image in here, in this case, is input, so it doesn't allow me. Red and blue. Okay, let me just double check if I've done it right. White, red, and blue. So this is it, this is easy, but it's important for you to understand the different concept before going here, because otherwise, okay, I just create that and link it, but we need to understand what's going on. So um, I left you to work on these ones, okay? You can see pulse entry is going to be one, two, and three. And this is linked to just double check. It's linked to to this part of the widening. To this part of the widening for the inputs and outputs okay let's link it to this so i believe there is nothing else for me to explain this part ah yes there's something important there i was missing there okay okay just let me just close this part so i forgot so this the previous part is good when someone else has done part of the program okay as a, in our case but what happens if i want to define a new input a new output how we can do that on the application so for that we have these two function blocks simulink and this one but it only changes this part sdt and src okay so as soon as we define one of these it will create the symbol link for that specific device and then we should be able to do it so let's go back to the application i almost forget of this part which is bad uh, okay save this part now if we go to application oops control w and sim we have RST, okay, and we have sim. Oops, control W, sim, and there we go. Let's zoom in. So, this is the function block that we can use in order to create variables inside. So, if we pay attention here, we have this that allows us to create multiple variables okay the name and the value and the same for the opposite side okay create name and value so this is going to be like an output and this is going to be the input and the value they're going to receive okay that's what you have in this case name and value now here if you add constant we should be able to see this this is the predefined information that we need to add in order to create the name of the variable as I show you in here. Okay, so pay attention. You have the signal, the sign of dollars, path, and then here you just need to use the name of the variable. The same for the output. Now, if we go back to the here, so this is going to be a new input, and this is going to be add constant true. This one needs to be true and here the value we just need to configure this which is the value that we're going to have so value is going to be boolean okay so if we compile say old then here let's just add just one constant true the name of the variable just bear with me there you go add constant new output okay just pay attention on the commas that you have in there where it should be here the value you need to change this interface and it's going to be for example in this case uh, value is going to be boolean okay it's a digital input so let's compile this part and refresh this 
as you can see, I have the new input, this one, and the new output. So if you want more, you have here add constant. Um, hello world. Here we just need to uh, the interface editor. Right click, define the new value. It's going to be boolean. Okay. Save old and here you have the hello world input okay simple as that simple once you know how to do it okay so let me just you know, back here okay stand and this is it for this part for the mapping io for linking io using the symbol link so as you can see um once you know it's easy but in our case we already have our application already done and someone has already created the symbol link for us so we just need to map it in our configuration so um, this is it for the symbol link how to map the logic that we have okay using symbol link to our physical tn3 devices so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one